Charleston Battery. Our match referee, Elton Garcia, gives us the go-ahead to get started. We thank you for joining us for Indy 11 Soccer. Indy has been content to kind of let Charleston possess the ball around the back so far tonight. And that might be a sign of, again, having played on Saturday night, albeit here against Tulsa. Fidel Barajas, just 17 years of age, his second year at the battery, lays it off perfectly on side, off the ball. A couple of minutes ago, we'll keep you posted on Cam's situation. Brad, walk through what you saw here. Well, so here's the, here's the benefit that Williams gives you. He is so dangerous that he's off to the right, which kind of has Indy having to stay and jam up that space, and it opens up the opportunity for a really great through ball in for Charleston. It was Barajas that had the look that rattled it off the ball. We're in good shape for a third consecutive home match with the Indy 11. A little action in the box. A oh volley. my goodness! Martinez off the post. Quinn sends it in. It is the player down for the battery. Not quite sure just yet. What a strike from Martinez here. Martinez looking for his second Indy 11 goal. That's a tough ball too. He's off balance. Nothing that Muse could have done on that one. And with Archer slow to get up, who's the man that immediately starts to loosen for the Charleston battery? Our good buddy A.J. Cochran, who spent the last two years with the Indy 11. San Francisco Glens on Friday night at Grand Park. Get your tickets, Indy11.com. 317-685-1100. Blake, Quinn, back post! Oh, my word. Dan Bright. Got a boot in, got some ball, but... Change of the field has to have a big shift from Charleston Battery to get over into that pocket, and that leaves some opportunities open on the backside when the ball comes back across. What a play by Muse. A kick save and a beauty. Colorado Springs. Giveaway here by Charleston. Can you do something with it? Martinez goes down. That's going to be a card. So the first yell of the match and the whistle has followed. Yeah, he had a, a four on two, four on three there, just needed that one more pass. Well, frankly, it was a half with kind of varied degrees of success in possession. Asante wants Martinez to go on the overlapping run, leaves it for him. Martinez yep. goes down, penalty! Penalty for the Indy 11. The Gaden Quinn's going to get his look at a sixth goal of the season and potentially the chance to air against the battery. Solo does it again. He does it again. Right here, when he gets the ball, he is motioning for Martinez to make that run for him. Lays it out perfectly. <laughs> if he was laying it out for a shot, it wasn't the right pace on that ball. But he laid it out at the right pace that there was no way Solo could get and cross 20,000 for his career. Can he add another goal? Can he give the Indy 11 the lead? The answer is yes. Cue the smoke in the BYB. Indy one goal to good in the 61st minutes. Brilliant, no doubt where he was going. Outscored the battery 5-0 this year. Three goals from the spot. And I'll now rely on your years of being a professional goalkeeper. When you see Louisville and Memphis, not much separating those top teams in the Eastern Conference right now, but plenty of soccer left to play. Oh, what a turn. Avila with the hit and didn't miss that by much. Expect now to see Indy be a little bit more direct, not take those chances, not play with the ball in the back third. King, a professional foul, and a yellow shown to Macaulay King. So, amazing guy. Ma talented musician, amazing guy. So Traeger and Ikaza come in, as is often the case. Has no problem wandering far away from the 18-yard box. Oh. Asante My got Lord. behind the defender. Asante tried to chip Muse. Muse and Pino show the various replays. Traeger. Traeger got around Ertl. Traeger can walk this in, and it's 1-1. Ertl and Budati look at each other thinking, I thought you had that. Clearly, they did not. And when it looked like this was trending in the direction of all three points for the Indy 11, they'll have to earn it in the final 15. And say, never quit on a ball. Never quit on a ball. You have no idea what's going to happen. 
chase down everything, put some pressure on it, see what can develop. For Tristan Traeger, his second goal of the season, and just beat Ertl to the punch. That was Ikaza that played the ball. So those are the last two subs to enter the game for the battery. Traeger. Good looking ball here. Avila draws the foul on Dambrot, and Dambrot will be shown yellow, which will turn into a red. Oh. Game that never seen anything like this. And you look at what Indy has had to deal with this year with the back line from injuries to red cards to having to change systems because you're out of you're out of backs it's been incredible so indy again won't play for 10 days and they certainly hope to have players like jesus vasquez and brian rebion back a man down and now a man short for the next match so dan brought yellow dan brought red and robbie heads to the challenge you can kill the rest of this off and leave with a point. Ikaza and Rodriguez. Rodriguez gives it a hit, and Ertl elevates it up and past the ball. So six minutes of added time before we see in when given the opportunity and bring out an attacking player to shore up the back line, but they will do so without Reese here. Looking back post. What? Wow. A cross that was lacking will be the way this match <laughs> will finish.